What's going on guys, my name is Robocast, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a full tutorial on how to play Robocast RP. So the chances are most of you guys already know what Robocast RP is, it's kind of like my main series on my channel, and basically what it is is it's a couple of semi-RP servers. So currently at the time of this video I have three of them. Now all the IPs will be in the description below. But uh, a lot of people are really confused as to how to play this because I really don't ever explain it in my videos. But in today's video guys, as I said, I'm going to be bringing you a full tutorial on how to play every single aspect of Robocast Semi-RP. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, if you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. So once again to clarify, Robocast RP is a semi-RP server, which means it's not a full RP server, which means that there's no jobs, there's no roles, there's nothing like that. It's basically like regular survival, except for there's shops, as you can see in front of me, which I will get to later, there's NPCs, and then there's a currency system in which you use to buy stuff. Now, I'm going to cover all these later, but that's kind of what separates Robocast RP from a regular RP server. There's, it's not full RP, there's no jobs, there's no roles. Once again, it's just normal survival with safe zones, shops, and a currency. And NPCs. Okay, so going back to whenever you first spawn. Whenever you first spawn, you're just going to want to play like a normal player. Get loot, get gear, stuff like that, and uh, just kind of, you know, get some gear, get your bases, kind of the same thing you would do on any normal server. Whenever you first spawn in, you're also going to want to check out the shops. Now, at these shops, you can either buy a shop, you can sell stuff at your shop, or you can buy stuff from people and trade and stuff like that. Now, if you want to do this on any server, just go ahead and do slash warp shops. Okay, some servers have two safe zones, but it really just depends on the server. But every server has a slash warp shops, and they're all going to be a little bit different, but they have the same concept. Now this is going to be like the basic area where you spend most of your time. This is where you're going to trade, communicate, uh, sell stuff, buy stuff, all that type of stuff. It's all going to occur in the safe zone. Now you don't have to worry about the safe zones because they are safe zones, so you don't have to worry about getting shot or robbed or anything like that. Also guys, before you do anything else on the server, you're going to want to read the server rules. I'll put a link to the server rules in the description below, they're on my own custom website, so you guys have to check those out before you do anything else. So once again, going back to whenever you first start out, you're going to want to play like a normal player. So you know, gather loot, gain experience, get geared, upgrade your skills, stuff that you would do on any normal server. Now, kind of the current, there's kind of two currencies on the server. There's Robocoins, which is used to purchase physical goods from people. Like, you know, you give a Robocoin, they give you a gun. Okay, stuff like that. Then there's also the experience system, which is used for NPCs. So in the beginning, you're going to want to try to get a lot of experience. And once you have enough experience, you can go around the map and find NPCs around the map and trade with them. Now, I'm going to put some locations on the screen right now for the Russia map of the NPCs. For, there's also a Washington one, which you guys can find on your own. But, you know, a majority of the stuff happens on Russia, so... Uh, here's the locations right now for all the Russia NPCs. So at this point you're probably wondering, how do I gain XP fast enough in order to buy this stuff from them? Well, at most of the NPCs you can sell stuff to them. So a lot of them have general goods such as fish, logs, scrap metal, uh, basically just regular resources that you would find around the map. And what you're going to want to do is sell these resources to these NPCs to gain money. So a good recommendation is to start out with like a chainsaw or an axe or something and just chop down a load of trees and then start selling the logs to the NPCs. So once you guys get 250 XP, you're going to be able to buy your first Robocoin, which again is the other currency on the server. And a lot of the stuff on the server runs off of Robocoins, so these are very important to have. So once you have at least 250 XP, what you're going to want to do is do slash warp bank. It's the same on every single server, just slash warp bank. Once you enter that in, that'll teleport you to the bank where you can buy Robocoins. So you spawn in this little room right here, you go out here, and as you can see there's multiple NPCs. Uh, just talk to these white guys in the uh, white tuxedo, you talk to them, it opens up a thing, and then click I'd like to make an exchange, and this is where you can purchase Robocoins. So currently I have over 3000 XP so I can buy quite a bit of these, but uh, once you're here just click this a bunch and get as many coins as you want, and then as you'll notice they'll be put into your inventory right here. So these Robocoins are pretty important as I said, and you're going to want to keep them safe. So in order to do that, on the server you can do slash vault. So once again, slash V-A-U-L-T, and it opens up a virtual vault, you can store them in here without losing them. So if you die, this will still stay here. As long as you have access to slash vault, you'll have access to all the stuff inside of it. So this is a process that you want to continue for quite a while until you get a decent number of Robocoins, because again, most of the server runs off of Robocoins. Once you have some Robocoins, go ahead and go back to slash warp shops, and uh, here you'll be able to purchase stuff from people, and you'll be able to buy shops and sell your own items. So we're going to start out with purchasing stuff. So go ahead and go to slash warp shops as I am right now, 
And at this point, you can walk around and find people's shops who are open. So they all have signs outside. If you don't see anyone there, just message them and they'll be online. But a good example shop is my shop right here. So you can just go in the shop, you know, people have their prices listed, and you can buy any of the guns or items that they have inside. So that's the pretty simple part, and we're pretty much done with that aspect. You know, sell stuff to NPCs, gain XP, gain items, and buy items from people, sell items to people, stuff like that. So once you're done with this, this is when your next giant leap on the server is, and this is when you're going to want to buy your own shop. So in order to buy your own shop, what you're going to want to do is contact an admin that's online. Now there are various prices of shops. There's 15 shops, there's 30 RC shops, 100 RC shops, 150, 500, and 1000. There's quite a bit of them, there's actually more than I just named. So you may have to wait a little while, but the chances are you're going to catch an admin online eventually, and then simply what you do is you contact the admin and tell them that you want to buy a shop. And then you know, you give them the coins, they let you place your items, and then you're on your merry way. But, you guys need to be careful because you have to have the proper licenses to sell stuff in your shop. So for example, this guy right here has all types of licenses, so if I go inside, you'll see that he can sell basically any item in the game. Now if you're caught selling items that you don't have a license for, your shop is going to be closed down and you're going to have to pay a fee of 5 Robocoins. Now you're not going to be able to get in your shop until you pay that fee, so you have to make sure you have these licenses at all times. Now in order to get these licenses, what you're going to want to do is slash warp bank again. Now once you're at the bank, go ahead and come in here and talk to this guy right here in the tuxedo. You talk to him, he says a bunch of jibber jabber. And whenever you click this, you can buy the licenses for whatever you want to sell. So again, gun sales license for guns, medical sales for medical gear, you know, basically every type that you need. So guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the basics and how to own and start your own shop and trading and all that type of stuff. But there's one last point that I missed, and that is parking passes. So obviously, you're going to want to keep your car safe. It's just something you want to do. You don't want people to steal your car every five seconds. So if you want to do that, you need to purchase a parking pass like you see right in front of me on this car. And you're going to want to place it on your car in order to park it in the safe zone. Now, just like the licenses, you can also purchase these from Slash Warp Bank. Now, there's a couple different types. There's a tank pass, which you have to put on your tank if you want to own one. There's a mobile shop pass, which you have to place on your mobile shop if you want to own one of those a land vehicle pass for cars, a boat pass for boats, and an aviation pass for planes or helicopters. Now once again, make sure you have these on your vehicles or they will be blown up in the safe zone. No second chances, if your car is caught in the safe zone without a pass, it will be blown up no matter what. Now some of you guys may be too lazy to get your own coins, so what you can do in this instance is you can buy them from the server. Now all the donations go to help out the server, keep it running, get new plugins, make new maps, stuff like that. So there's also a donation shop. So if you go to slash warp donate on the server, you'll see this little shop right in front of me. Now the best sellers are definitely these right here. There's the donor vaults, which is what I showed you guys earlier. Now the one I have is huge, that's the donor vault 3. Um, and these are basically real life money that you can donate to upgrade your status in game. So if you want a bigger vault, you can donate for vault 1, vault 2, or vault 3, and it allows you to store more items in your vault. Now this right here, the reserve slot, is actually probably the top seller out of anything. The reserve slot is basically, it allows you to join the server anytime, no matter what. And it costs $25 a month, which is pretty expensive, but if you actually like the server, it's worth your money because it's pretty much always full, and if you have one of these slots, you can join even when it's full. And then next up, the custom warp is something that you can get set at your shop, so I could just name it whatever you want, and people can teleport to your shop. So say you want it to be slash warp potato, uh, people can type in warp potato and it'll teleport them right to your shop. And finally, if you're too lazy to get your own Robocoins, you can purchase them for $1 per 15 coins, which may sound kind of expensive, but it's actually pretty balanced and it's a pretty reasonable price. Now if you guys want to donate, go ahead and fill out the form at robocastrp.com slash donate. Uh, I would definitely recommend playing on the server first, but if you guys like it and you enjoy the server and you want to keep it up and running, go ahead and donate. Again, robocastrp.com slash donate and fill out the form. But guys, that is basically everything about how to play Robocast RP. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, I don't know of anything that I missed, but uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for all the support that I've been getting on the server, see you guys next time, and peace.